This is a tutorial on how to format a drive for use in an Xbox One. For prerequisites, you're going to need at least one flash drive, approximately 2 gigabytes or larger. You'll also need another FAT formatted partition that you have access to. Uh, another flash drive, secondary flash drive, will also suffice. And of course, you'll need the new hard drive to install a SATA 2 or 3, 2.5 inch drive, and you'll need the original Xbox One drive. I'd also like to acknowledge Juvenile and Team Executor for coming up with the tools and directions to make all of this possible. We're going to begin by downloading three packages from the web. Uh, try to download them all into one location. I'll have the links in the comments below that you can refer to later. The first package is a tool to create an Ubuntu Live flash drive. The second package is an ISO with the latest version of Ubuntu Desktop 64-bit edition. The last package is a zip file containing Juvenile's scripts for formatting the Xbox One hard drive. Now that you have all three packages, we're going to begin by starting up the universal USB installer executable that you downloaded in the first step, and we're going to create our live Linux flash drive. I should add that you need to plug in the flash drive that you intend to install Ubuntu onto at this point. Hit the I agree button in this first dialog. Now we'll have to configure the installer. We're going to start by choosing the Ubuntu distribution in the first step in its drop down menu. The second step you'll need to browse and select the ISO that you downloaded as your second package third step, you'll have to choose the flash drive you plugged in earlier, and you'll also have to select to format the drive. At this point, you should be able to hit create and get things going. You should see this progress dialog next. It shouldn't take 19 minutes. It was under 5. If everything completes successfully, you should see this dialog. You can hit close to go on to the next step. The last step in this preparation phase is to unzip Juvenile scripts into a FAT formatted drive. Now you could probably use NTFS, I just find it safer to use FAT when I'm within Linux. I, in this case here, I actually chose to use a second flash drive. Now it's time to reboot into Ubuntu. You're going to have to choose some BIOS option, in my case I only have to press F8 during post in order to bring up this boot menu. From here, I'm able to choose my flash drive. You might have to go into your BIOS settings and actually manually modify the boot order in order to choose your flash drive. Your options will vary. I should also mention by this point, you'll need to have the original Xbox One hard drive and the new hard drive plugged into your system. For expediency's sake, I sped up the boot sequence. Once you've reached this install dialog, simply click the Try Ubuntu button. Now that we've reached the desktop, our next step is to find the hard drive that we wish to format so that we can find its device name. To do this, we're going to use the Ubuntu search to find the disk's application and open it. We need to select the drive that we wish to format. You can see here that I have several disks installed on my machine. I have to be very careful to choose the right one. I don't want to accidentally format the wrong drive. With the correct disk selected, we want to find its device name. You'll see here that I've highlighted where it can be found. In this example, it's slash dev slash SDE. Going forward, we don't need the preceding slash dev slash we only care about the device name itself, SDE. Remember, your device name is likely to be different than mine. This is just an example. I'm going to move the disks application out of the way, and I'm going to go back to the search tool, and I'm going to open up a terminal. Next, we're going to want to change our current working directory 
to the location where we unzipped the script files earlier. To do this, I'm going to open up the file browser and I'm going to navigate to the drive where I unzipped those files. I'm going to use a little shortcut to change the current working directory. Next step is back in the terminal, I'm going to type cd space and then I'm going to go back to the file browser and I'm going to drag the folder with the zip files up into the terminal. I then am going to hit enter in the terminal and you'll see the current working directory has changed. The scripts that we want to run require special privileges. To do this we use the sudo command and we're going to use Python to run the script name xbox1hdd.py. You can see the exact syntax that I typed into the terminal. The complete command statement should be sudo space python space dot forward slash xbox1hdd.py but don't hit enter yet. We need to follow this with the device name that we found in the disks application earlier. Be doubly certain that you've chosen the right device name. Now with the completed command we can finally hit enter. You'll see that the script notices that the device is not partitioned and so it generates a script for you that will create the correct partition map. This is a shell script, so we're going to begin with sudo space bash. Don't hit enter yet. We're going to follow this with space dot forward slash mkxboxfs dot sh space and again the name of the device that we found earlier. Now you can hit enter. If you left the disks application open for reference and it happens to be on your drive, you will see five partitions created on your drive. Now it's time to copy the necessary files from the original Xbox One drive to the new drive. I'm going to open another file browser and I'm going to navigate to the partition named system update on the original Xbox One drive. There will be two partitions named system update, one on the original Xbox drive and the second on your newly formatted drive. The newly formatted drive will have an empty partition, of course, while the original drive will have this file and at least these two folders. We want to make certain the system update partition on the newly formatted drive is also mounted, and we do that simply just by clicking on it. We're going to go back to the system update partition on the original drive, and we're going to shift select the file named updater.bxd and the folders named A and B. Then we're going to drag copy those over to the system update partition on the newly formatted drive. Expect the copy to take about a minute, but I'm going to speed this up again. With the copy complete, I'm going to unmount all of the partitions from both drives. To do this, I just click on the little eject button to the right of the partition name. I'm careful to not accidentally eject the drive that has the script. We're going to go back to the terminal and we're going to run the first script again. This will do the final preparation on the newly formatted drive. To run the script again, I push the up arrow to go through the command history until I see the sudo python command again. At that point, I can just hit enter. Enter yes to confirm the changes. Your new hard drive is now ready to be installed. You can just simply shut down your computer. Now it's time to test the installation. I'm going to speed this boot up by 2x. In my prior attempt, I actually had issues with my system after installing the repartition drive. Essentially, the system had expected applications to be there from a prior installation, yet they were missing on the newly partitioned drive. This caused all kinds of problems. It was easier just to restore back to factory default settings. 
and start all over again. After installing the newly formatted drive, your system might shut down once or twice while trying to boot. This is to be expected. It just so happened I lucked out my first time. For more information about installing a new hard drive into your Xbox One, including a great tutorial video on how to open your Xbox One, refer to the comments below.